What's up and welcome everybody back into Medieval Dynasty. Last we left off, we just finished building up another structure to our fledging village that we continue mainly trying to prepare to start recruiting some villagers over this way. We've been building up some relationships with some of the neighboring villages and uh, we also did just build up this beautiful structure right here. The food storage, which we actually need because this is when we actually recruit people to join our village and start doing our bidding. <laughs> they, they gotta eat. They're gonna have to eat. And another building that I think we gotta go ahead and craft up before it is too late comes in the form of something we just learned from actually building that building because building unlocks new buildings. It's like building Uh, is going to be, I think, over here in the storage. We gotta get a level one resource sto resource storage built up as well obviously we're gonna want to build up some new houses and whatnot and actually another big thing i do want to focus on is our food supply our food supply is uh needs some work so i think maybe trying to craft up some more wabbit traps it might not be a bad idea so why don't we go and chop down a few treatly doos because uh, we did set up our rabbit trap this way i don't know if it's been used up or broken yet the mr rabbit trap beautiful we have one more rabbit but this rabbit trap is done so but Woo! We got two leather and three meat. Luckily, we should be able to collect some more branches from chopping down a few trees over here. And also, we need these trees to craft the log to build the thing. But also, ooh, nighttime is coming. And we're about to see the end of our very first season because every three games, the seasons... I always forget you gotta chop this thing again. Uh, the seasons do actually flip. So currently, we are in the spring season. But soon enough, comrades, we are actually going to be moving... Oh, here, hold up. I saw some sticks over here. Uh, soon enough, comrades, we are actually going to be moving to... Uh, summer comes after spring, right? Yes, it does. It definitely does. <laughs> We're going to be moving to summer in not too long of a time. So I don't want to spend too much time lollygagging about. So what I'm just going to do really quickly here, because I, I want to, I just want to go and craft up another wabbit trap over here and just continue collecting wabbits because it's a decent supply of food. And food is mwah, muy importante. And of course, building traps and stuff does help us level up our skills, which ultimately unlocks new crafting recipes and even building recipes. We also do have our first ever farms that we sowed in the just last episode, beginning with none other than as some carrots growing marvelously right over here. So the carrots will continue doing their carrot things. <gasps> Did we not have more farmland? I thought we had more than that. Maybe I was horribly mistaken. Huh. I digress. Uh, let's go over and actually visit. For the first time, I gotta get some water over here from the river too. But go and visit for the first time our neighbors across the river where there should ideally be some new quests awaiting us and that's gonna be good because we can get some food from quests and we've gotten some really good food from quests like freaking some baked goodies and stuff which i don't really have access to making myself i mainly been ju just cooking up the meats that we've been crafting i do love the placement of our village too I, I know i mentioned this so much but being right next to that river makes us so accessible to these two neighboring villages who i think are going to be very important because <laughs> I gotta poach villagers from somewhere, you know? But we do over at that compass at the top of the screen have some exclamation points, which should be prime opportunity. If I can get over here. Oh, hello. I fell into your water. Sorry about that. Uh, prime opportunity to gain some quests. Ida, 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 can I help you with something? Dear sir, can you help me with an errand? What is it? I pledge to create some pants, pantalones, for local folk, but I ran out of ingredients. I'll reward you, of course. Sure. I got some spare time. What you need, Ida? What you need? Some reeds or some straw? Let's see what pops up over here with the quest. Oh, I, do, I need to make it the active quest, don't I? Because we do also have our chapter two quest that we have begun as well. But we got to wait. Actually, we'll be able to continue this after this season ends. So right after today, which is going to be really good. But we do have uh, also Alwyn's story, which we're not going to be able to continue until our next summer. Uh, we also have Unego's story where... Oh, I should probably... Oh... I should do the Unigo stuff, but I think that one had us venturing out a little bit further out. But here we have the old rags, where I got to deliver 10 leather to Ida. All right, all right, all right. We're going to have to do a little bit of hunting before I can finish up Ida's quest over here, but that's A-OK. -okay. I'm planning on trapping up some more webbits, so we should be able to do just fine with that. We also probably want to take this opportunity. Um, can I tell you something, beautiful lady? Sorry, but I'm married. All right, I don't want to tell you anything. Because you can get married in this game. And it's actually pretty important for ultimately <laughs> starting your own family. Having a son who is ultimately the heir to the village that you do create. Uh, you need help with something, buddy. Can you help me solve a problem? Uh, recently, those animals started to overpopulate and became a threat to the balance of the area. Can you get rid of them? Sure. I shall hunt, Volibor. Just for you, my friend. 
And then over here, it appears we have a person that is very interesting on the compass. Mildreda, how are you? I want to tell you something. Nope, I'm too young for her. I don't want to tell you anything. But she is actually one of these people that we could potentially recruit to join our village. However, we need to get that approval rating up. So why don't we talk to her a little bit? Yeah, like talking about what she loves talking about weather. We got a freaking meteorologist on her hands. Um, do you have a minute to talk some more? Nice weather, nice weather. Oh, she loves talking about the weather. But she is done talking with us for today. But that's A-OK. -okay. We just, by picking the right dialogue options, built up a bit of a relationship with her. And that'll be beautiful because uh, I plan on poaching her to join our very own village. Uh, but besides that, we don't really have many more quests. We do have a few people here that maybe we could trade with. I uh, just got like various tools and stuff. I'm a little bit on the broke side. I just spent a lot of money buying a freaking bag to sow seeds with. I know, quite, quite extravagant. Uh, but there was, over here on the map, a person over there. That the game wants us to talk to. You are sitting on... Oh, a stool. I was about to say, you're sitting on nothing. Do you have a minute? No, she doesn't want to talk to strangers. I totally understand. Ida! I guess I could talk to her about some wares. Yeah, what do you have for sale? An egg. She has 10 eggs. Eh, I'm, I'm good for now, Ida. Never mind. So we did manage to pick up a few quests over here. What's that one quest that we got? Uh, the animal overcrowding. We got to hunt seven rabbits. Boom shakalaka. This actually goes perfectly. We should be able to get some leather by hunting rabbits, and then ultimately hunt rabbits. Doing these quests will help us build up our food supplies. All right, all right, all right. We got some winds coming our way, baby. I could get behind this and behind that beautiful mushroom right over there, but nighttime is rapidly approaching. Why don't we see if maybe... Ah, maybe we could get a little bit of bunny rabbit hunting done. I do, after all, still have this spear. Might as well collect these mushrooms because, again, food is food, baby. And our food supplies... They've been slacking. Also pick up sticks. I'm gonna need those for crafting. Probably more bunny rabbit traps. Oh, I wonder if the when our traps get kills, if those count too. But for now, I'm trying to keep my eyes peeled here, see if I see any movement in the distance, eh? Because that is gonna be a telltale sign of life. And I gotta take that life away from these bunny rabbits that may or may not be lurking. Oh, St. John's Wart. Oh, hold up. This is real. I've, I have not seen these yet. So this is going to be some sort of an herb. A, I might be able to sell it for money. Uh, actually, five bucks a pop. That's not too bad. But B, it reduces the level of poisoning. So, okay, if we ever get poisoned, might not be the worst thing in the universe. We can't pick the white ones. That's okay. We got the, nothing over there. Oh, we got some more St. John's Wart over there that we could pick up. Man, you guys are talking about overcrowding and lots of rabbits. I ain't seeing a darn thing. And it is getting kind of dark, so maybe I shall retreat back home. Try to reset my trap and see if that will help us. Also, since we are in spring and summer is coming up next, we might be able to continue Alwyn's story next up. Because doing quests is a great way of getting dynasty reputation, which we do, and, and food, like I was saying, and just various loots, right? But it's also a good way of getting our dynasty reputation up, which we ultimately need to recruit people to our village. And again, back to the topic of the village... I think what I want to get my first villager to do when I manage to recruit them is to just get on food. You know, maybe I'll stock them with like a bow and arrow because you can't craft a bow and arrow and actually send your villagers out hunting. I might try to get some villagers solely for hunting first and foremost, just so we have ideally a steady-ish food supply because I feel like food's going to be probably the most important thing because that'll kind of feed the future villagers and stuff. And also, oh, nice. I just got, I, I failed the quest. Are you kidding me right meow? That was timed? Well, that's ridiculous. But our new quest chapter three is actually good morning, my neighbors. Complete some quests for the neighbors and succeed in flirting. But we have no quests over in Borowa. They hate me because I didn't do their quests in time. That's obnoxious, but we do have some Gostovia quests we should be able to do. Bruh, well, okay, there goes the bunny rabbit scheme and I was doing. Talk about annoying. How are the carrots growing, may I ask? Oh, look at them! They are little nubs in the ground. Oh, it's so beautiful. Are these harvestable yet? I see little, I see little tints of orange. Oh, these are looking. I mean, they're not big carrots, but they're there. They definitely look to be carrot-like. I don't know, dog. I do not know. Let's definitely go and get our bunny rabbit, though. Probably try to cook this thing up. Uh, where have I set that trap? Ah, there it is. Hello, Mr. Bunny. 
Goodbye, Mr. Bunny. Let's reactivate that trap. We got more leather. We got more meat. And I have learned that leather is a nice thing to freaking hoard. So I'm going to continue doing that. I thought I saw something there I could collect. Uh, back to the topic of chopping trees. Why don't we continue our... <laughs> Man, I feel so bad chopping down this forest right next to us. I kind of like how it's placed right next to our village. And just able to like... I don't know. It makes for a nice decoration, so to speak. Gives our village a nice vibe. Being right next to things. And let's go and get a few more logs. Because we need 10 to start the blueprint that I was talking about. There we got another log. Just cheeky, cheeky, breaky hiding right over there. And I'm sorry, my nearby forest, but you must go, my son. Timber! I mean, I don't know. It is also the nearest patch of wood by a long shot that we have access to. And is this going to be a four log wood? Yes, beautiful. We got four logs from this. Exactly what we need. Except I literally can't move. This is not what I needed. Do I have too many logs? I have nine. Hold up. How in tarnation am I supposed to craft this thing? Wait a minute. To craft what I want to craft, right? The storage over here. I need 10... I need 10 logs. I have 9. What? How am I supposed to do this without being over and encumbered? I've been bamboozled. Alright, I'm gonna need to drop a few logs here for a moment. Let's go ahead and uh, drop you for the time being. Just to the point where I can move again. Okay. I might drop a few more. I might need to, like, freaking lug a few of these logs over to where I want to go first. Let's, uh, let's get two of these puppies. Oh. Let's, uh, drop one more there. Okay, I can move reasonably. We're gonna move over this way, and we're gonna now create the next building. The two outer village. And I think I'll put it right next to the food store. I think a resource store next to the food store is a good placement. We, of course, have... I mean, people might end up living in my house, but this is my house for the time being. And we'll continue being that way. Um, I think I'm going to want to build what I want to build right here. So we'll take this opportunity. My logs, I'm sorry. It is your time to go. Boop, boop. There we go. Oh, nice. That's a stack of six. Hey, don't you roll, loggy boy. Stop rolling. No, 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 I need you right where you are, mister. And all right, let's collect these four logs. We should be able to move a bit quicker because we just logged six, or we just lugged six logs over there. And this time we only have four on us. So come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, this will be good enough. We might need to deforest a few berry bushes, but so be it. Such is life sometimes. Let's go and begin the construction of our next storage. The resource storage that I cannot put down. Oh, the terrain over there is too uneven. There's obstacle. Okay. Hold on. Can I, like, rotate this? Come on, baby. Come on. I, I think I'm trying to build it, like, too close to the road. I might have to drop these logs. <laughs> Dude, this is obnoxious. This is why I really want that perk that lets you, uh, whatchamacall. That lets you have more inventory room. That'd be, uh, pretty big right about now. Definitely go for that. At this time, we should be able to put it down, yeah? Uh, the storage, the resource storage. Oh, I saw a sliver of hope right there. Come on, dude. I literally saw it flash a green for like, oh, split second. Beautiful. And there we have it. Oh my God, this is going to be a big construction project, isn't it? <laughs> oh no. Yeah, I got a feeling we're going to have to get uh... a... <laughs> This is gonna take a lot. Wow. Yeah, that's gonna take a lot to finish building this thing. We're gonna need trees for days. I can't wait, by the way, until we get a villager to help us with this stuff. But for now, the resource storage is shall commence. Holy guacamole, baby. But I guess we can take this opportunity to let's go and knock out some quests for the neighbors. Because we do have a few quest lines that we can continue over here in the village. And maybe get a little bit of flirting done. I don't know. See if someone might like me. Hello, you. You want to flirt, Alberta. Albreda. My bad, my damn, my dad. I want to tell you something, beautiful lady. Okay, I do not. How about... Um... I recently got into hunting. Any tips? Okay, thank you for the tips. Hey, do you have a minute? Any tips? Okay, she likes talking about hunting. Not a lot, but a little bit. And we still can't flirt with her. We gotta get... 
Oh, a wife is necessary to ensure the survival of your dynasty. Thanks to her, you will have an heir who, after reaching the right age, will continue your history, improve dynasty reputation, and develop the village. Your wife can also help you rethink your talents and heal your wounds. Remember to take care of not only yourself, but also your whole family. Your wife is very dissatisfied with your actions, e.g. lack of shelter for a long time, food, or the possibility of warming up in winter. She may leave you and take the heir with her. Oh my god, I gotta manage a family? Bro, I just graduated college IRL. I gotta manage a family already? Holy guacamole. Okay, so this guy we can recruit ultimately into our village. I do want to see if... Uh, this guy does not like talking about anything. Literally nothing. I just talked to him about a bunch of different topics. He didn't care. I did get a new level in diplomacy, though. I'll take that. I'll take that. Um, Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Anyone over here? I feel like I was talking to someone earlier who was like kind of flirtable but i'm not really seeing that option yaro gneva i mean she likes me but she approves of me i should say but mm, i want to tell you something nope she doesn't know me okay so she might be open to some of this flirting how about that weather oh let's go yes it's quite warm i like that Ooh, let's talk about some more weather, dude. Weather gets the ladies going. What can I say? Oh, it's looking sunny out. Oh, ho, ho. you are a ham like that. You're just, oh, you talk about weather? I am interested immediately. <laughs> uh, how's the job? I hope you're doing all right. Okay, she does not seem to like talking about that. I want to tell you something, though, pretty lady. Yes. Uh, oh, marry me Pfft. right away. Okay, you look as beautiful as a blue sky today. I feel like talking about the sky is good. She likes weather. She... Okay. Well, I just failed horrifically at that. Uh, I admire your honesty. You're not afraid to tell others if you disapprove of their behavior. Oh, have I been rude? Sorry if I came across as such. No, you haven't been rude? Okay, wow. Well, I just flared epically at flirting. Your boy's got to work on his medieval flirtation skills. I apologize. Uh, you! Shall we flirt, Kanuta? Uh, hey, you got a minute? How's the job? Okay, she liked that. Nice weather, dude. Everyone loves the weather. How have you been? All right. Uh, how about that noble that was passing through? She doesn't like nobles. I feel like no one likes nobles. Okay, and she is married. So nothing coming from that. Uh, why don't we switch up? Oh, we do have a skill over here. Let's go, a diplomacy skill. We can get extra skill points from diplomacy activities, extra dynasty reputation from challenges, or more affection from quests. I'll take the diplomacy knowledge so we level up faster. I really think that, like, these types of skills are the best to invest in early. You know? But going back to our quests, we can go talk to Sambor, who, like, unfortunately, I do think is really far away. Uh, yeah, he's 700 meters that way. That's the dude who lives in the middle of the freaking jungle up there. Like, he is in literal Bufu, Egypt. Um... Or, 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 or Alwyn's story. We want, we got to talk to Alwyn again. Where are you at, Alwyn? He might be up in the fields. Me and Alwyn, dude, we go way back. I gave this man a stick. And just our friendship's been budding ever since. <laughs> That's literally how it started. Alwyn, bro, you are up here, dog. What are you do? Oh, my God. He is so in the fields way, way up here. I wish I could steal your carrots. My carrots are definitely not ready, by the way. I can now see that. What's up, Alwyn? What's new? What's new? Nothing's new. I got a lot of work to do. And just to make my life not too easy, my water skin's leaking. Oh, no. This is my favorite. I'm attached to it. Maybe I can help you. I can actually use some help to the west of Peter's a village where they have a sewing. Can you go over there and talk to the sewer to repair my water skin? Of course, of course, of course. So I got to go 800 meters that way to the village in the west? Holy guacamole. I mean... We might have quite the adventure on our hands, yo. Alwyn wants us to go west, and I like Alwyn. So this is going to be tricky. And more importantly, do we continue expanding our village a bit, or do we go venture? I kind of want to go to the neighboring village. Man, mm, I'm conflicted. That is a pretty big project we do have to undertake. Ah, uh, man. Yeah, honestly, mm, we shall go to the neighboring village. I will pick up sticks on the way. I need sticks. I need sticks. We shall go to neighboring village for now. We will continue working. Over here. No worries. Oh, I'll check the rabbit trap too before I leave. Let's see how that's looking. I also wish that we had quests to do from that river across the way, but... Or the village across the way, but I, I kind of boof that, man. I 
kind of messed that one up a bit. I'll keep my eyes peeled for rabbits and just any hunting. But luckily, we got another one. Hello, Mr. Rabbit. Let's reactivate that. That is seriously a gorgeous source of meat. We got to make sure to set up a rabbit trap every day. Honestly, with all these sticks I've been picking up, can I just craft a bunch of rat? Yeah, dude, that's exactly what I'm going to do. Woohoo! More survival levels, too. Can I just craft up some more rabbit traps? I kind of like that idea. Uh, what'd it take again? Other traps, rabbit traps. Trap limits exceed. I have one trap, bruh. Well, that's unfortunate. Is there some kind of skill we could do to change that? Like, uh, I feel like there is a skill that gives us the ability to put down more traps, right? Am I, am I, I'm, I'm a liar? I think I might be a liar. I definitely feel like there was one. Is it maybe farming? No, hunt, it might be hunting. Is there any way? Experienced trapping master plus one bigger trap limit. So we, we want to make our way up to trapping master. That's going to be big. More traps is the good. But we got plenty of sticks to make the next set of traps. And I will continue picking up all the sticks in the universe. I do have my spear ready to go. <gasps> oh dear! Crikey! Might we be able to get ourselves something a little bit bigger than usual? We've yet to run across the most dangerous of things. No wolves have encountered us yet. And also, if I yeet this thing with a spear, will it die? Or should I get another spear? I don't know. I suppose it might be time to tell. Uh, hopefully this works. Let's get a little bit of a headshot. No, that thing is gone. Oh my goodness gracious. That thing got yeeted into existence. Uh, well, I can luckily retrieve it. Actually, I might not be able to. That thing is literally... That's stuck up in a tree. I literally hit the tree like 50 miles behind this thing. Okay. I'm going to craft another spear. They're going hunting, baby. I, I need a log. Okay. I need a log. Um, I'll just see if I can get that spear back. I that, that was just such a bad throw. That was horrifically bad. Maybe this one can be a bit better. Yo. I got it. I feel like headshot on the deer might be better overall for us, you know? Hello, Mr. Deer. Hello, hello, hello. <gasps> oh, that thing's running. I don't really know if I'd call that running. That thing's frolicking. Can I get my spear back, dog? Thank you. Let me just take that back. And okay, just up. Uh, can I punch you? I'm gonna beat you up, deer. I'm gonna beat you. Okay, he does not want to get beat up. I don't blame you. This deer is not. Oh, he got poked in the butt. He survived that. Oh, this is shenanigans. Ah. Uh, no, don't run, deer. I got to chop down a tree. Wait for me. I think we injured this deer, though, from the first freaking spear throw. Because that thing is uh, not moving very quickly. I have not seen a deer that slow in a minute. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Just give me just... Come on, birch tree. Get chopped, boy. Oh, no. I don't need sticks. I need logs. Beautiful. That should do the trick. I'll grab those two. There's the deer. And the wooden spear. Hopefully one will be enough to do the trick. And I still gotta go and maybe find the other one that we yeeted. Hold up, hold up, hold up. You, let's go back into slot number three. This could be our biggest haul of meat to date, baby. Hopefully it pays off. Yeah. Oh, it went right under the deer now. Oh, and that is still a usage of our spear, which is very unfortunate. Let's re-equip that thing. What up, dearie boy? Yeet! Down goes the deer! Okay, I gotta get my spear back first. Oh, there we got... What is that? Oh my god. If that's a deer, that's a significantly faster deer. Let's go ahead and skin this bucko. Hey, no shot, bucko. No shot. Anything good? Three leather and five meat, but I am getting over encumbered, so... If I just craft more spears, will that unencumber me a bit? Oh my god, that thing is so fast! Hello, Mr. Deary Poo. Yeet! Big hit, big hit. I do think getting... No, that's just a significantly faster deer. Oh my god, look at that thing frolic. What is that over there? At the side of a road... Okay, that thing's gone. Oh, hold up. It's coming back. It's coming back. And it's running away. Dang it. All right, we gotta focus up, though. We gotta make our way out west. It's a Matilda, whoever it is that we gotta talk to. Unless I can freaking yeet this thing from across the yeet. Yeet! <gasps> oh my god! Kobe! Oh, do I have another one? I don't. 
Is this deer gonna be slower or do I need to chop down another tree? No, don't run. Okay, he actually is a lot slower after we hit him with this spear. You love to see it. You love to see it. I'll just be taking that spear over there, re-equipping it and booping you in the boot. Boop. No, dude. Stabbing, I don't think is as efficient as uh as other ways. I don't think I think literally stabbing is worse than throwing. So I will continue yeeting these spears across the way. I just gotta pick up one log. Timber, maybe this will just kill the deer for us. <laughs> Honestly, if trees could kill, I think that tree might have done the trick. All right, we got more sticks, and we go a log. Let's collect one of those. Craft up that wooden spear. I can't move and craft. Come on, multitasking. Have you ever heard of it? And let's go and put that back in slot number O tree. Come on, Mr. Deer. Dude, we're gonna have so much food for so long. Yeet! What? How did that miss? How did that one actually miss? I can Kobe you from across the way. Yeet! I can't hit you point blank. This is getting ridiculous. This is actually getting ridiculous. Hello, Mr. Deer. Pop! Down goes the dough. Ba -ba -da -ba -ba -ba. And the beautiful. Three more leather, four more meat. It's time for me to yeet. And make our way to that neighboring village I was speaking of. That I got significantly sidetracked from. I also do not have a spear, so if I get mugged by wolves, uh, GG's, no re. But I also gotta say, hey, I pretty like, I'm, this has seriously been such a fun series to do so far, and y'all seriously do seem to be enjoying it too, which is awesome, because I just love this idea of, you know, being able to like, build up our own village, and just kind of take things from there. I've, I've been having a lot of fun with it, and y'all really seem to be enjoying it as well. So, you know, if y'all do continue having the enjoyment out of it, I'll continue ideally posting as much as I can, lads and lassies building up our village. I cannot wait until we get our first freaking worker and a villager to help us out. What is that? Is that a fire in the distance? Nah, just like a... Oh, that might be a deer by a tree. That's super far in the distance. Y'all might not even be able to see that. Regardless, yeah, I think that is a deer in the distance. We're about halfway there from the village we originally set out to. I am gonna have to find some fresh water, which I don't think this village is going to be very close to. Oh, if we collect berries now, by the way, I think they should be edible. Which is going to be really good. Dang, look at this place over here. Is this a supply of fresh water? This is sick. And is that... Let's go. We got some ideally fresh water we can get from here. I was starting to get thirsty. That is a really cool stream. Okay, that's another deer. Again, I'm just scared of finding something not as friendly as a deer. That's the idea that's got me spooked, you know? We'll make our way over here. And after just our 100 more meters to go, our destination will be here. And then we gotta freaking yeet our way back to the other village to finish that quest. But we should be able to pick up some more quests from this village too. And hopefully make it an efficient trip. And let's go. I'll collect some berries because I think it is technically the summer season. Berries should be ripe. Which means we can actually eat these things. So I'll actually chow down on a few of these. Are they edible? It can be eaten raw. Let's go. These are the edible variety. Let's eat as many of them as possible to really get our food up. I was selling berries last season. But this season, because depending on the season, like there's literally different traits in the world. And one of them is the food that is naturally ripe out in a boot. And one of those is berries. I think mushrooms are no longer ripe. Or if they are, they might be dangerous. But berries, mwah. Magnificent, baby. Absolutely magnificent. Come on, collect these berries. I'm just gonna chow down on these until we are completely full on our health. And then we should be able to use all the meat that we've been gathering to hopefully make food that lasts a little bit longer. Also, what is that status meter right there? Because we have like a 17% like, what, stank? Do we smell bad? That's what that looks like? I don't know, but hello, neighbor and village. How are y'all doing today? Oh, this is a cool one. Look at this. They got some pretty tightly packed houses. Matilda, where is this lassie by the name of Matilda? Looks like she's inside of this house. Matilda, I got some stuff for you. It's so in lady. Hi, hi, my friend's water skin broke. I'm looking for someone who can repair it. I can repair it as far as I can tell. It won't be particularly difficult, but I'm missing materials. What do you need? Leather, a few pieces will do. I think I got enough leather. I got 12, she needs four. Boom, shakalaka. I just want to help out my friend. Oh, I've heard a little about him. My daughter Kinga mentioned him. I think she is infatuated with him. Oh, my. 
A little love story unfolding in front of our eyes. She'd better be interested in someone like you. You are very resourceful. Why, thank you. Here you go. The water skin is like new. You can find Kinga near the farm. She takes care of the sheep. But behave yourself. Ooh. I have her approval already. Bro, life is good. Woohoo. All right. These sheep got to calm down, though. So we can continue this quest. But did we just get a new... No. Well, she wants us to talk to Kinga. I don't know where Kinga is. I don't see any, like, quest markers around Danica. But I am going to be looking for Kinga. Could this be her sowing the fields? Kinga! Is this you? Sorry to trample your stuff. No, Miro Gneva. Uh, Do you have a minute? How's the job? Hope you're doing all right. All right, she hates talking about work, and she doesn't want to talk to me anymore. Woohoo! Here we got some beautiful cabbages, dago bear, cashmere. I'm not going to talk to y'all. I don't think we'll really get anything good from them. Uh, he's selling some animal feed. Oh, and manure. Dude, that manure might not be a bad idea. Mm -mm -mm. I can afford one of those. Is there anything I could sell that's worthwhile? Anything that's worth a few buckaroos? What's well, got a good price that we've been picking up? Ah, uh, I'm not really seeing any great prices here. Is there anything? I mean, we have a lot of sticks. We, we could sell some sticks, I guess. Uh, yeah, why don't we sell, let's say, 39? Hold up. 39 sticks that'll give us 50 bucks and I'll pick up five manures I like that that's a good deal we'll try out this manure system I know that this man Dago Bear has got the hookup on the manure side of things and I continue searching for Kinga Kinga where are you oh a place I could rob I don't want to rob any place right now though just because I want to make sure our dynasty points stay intact is this you Kinga Kashmira Strogobor uh, we can recruit her. So good to know, good to know. So not every villager is recruitable, but some of them are. That is what I have learned. It's just a matter of finding and persuading the ones that are talkable. Rudolfina, where is Kinga? Bro, she was hyping up Kinga to be this awesome lass. And I can't even find her. Oda, hello Oda, you're definitely not Kinga. Bruh, she's sending me on a wild goose chase after Kinga. How could you do this? How could you do such a thing? There's only so many people to talk to in this village, and I feel like I've walked past all of them, you know? Is this you, Kinga? Please? Shebora? Hello, do you have a minute? Nope. She doesn't want to talk to anyone. I am kerfuffled right now. You're hyping up Kinga, and then she's not even a real person? Oh, what do you have for sale? Ah, a bunch of stuff. Okay, okay, I'll go now, I'll go now. Hmm. I mean, cool village and all, but I am so disappointed by the lack of Kinga. Are we sure she isn't somewhere here on the map? Like, I just saw all the people by the fire. We got the one person there. We got this one person up in this house little hut ahead by the sheep. Could this be Kinga? <gasps> Kinga? Kinga! Hello! How are you doing? What a day, what a day. She does not want to hear me talk. All right, I've been rejected. I just, a lot of rejection today. Well, I think that's, uh, that might be enough rejection for today. I think, I think that's going to go to start bringing an end to this episode of Medieval Dynasty. Hopefully you all did enjoy. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button. It's a great way of letting me know that you are enjoying the series and do want to see more. And I am a man of the people. So if the people want more, they'll get more. But this is definitely a game that I'm kind of addicted to. And I love this idea of building up our stuff and having fun with that and, I don't know, dude. It's pretty cool. And, oh, we do have another perk over here on the skill side of things. So, why don't I go... I think I'm going to get another level in survival knowledge. So, we just continue leveling up faster and faster. And then we will take things from there. But, uh, yeah. When we return, we're going to go ahead and wrap up this quest that we are on. Hopefully, successfully flirt with someone. I am struggling with that part of things. But, we'll get there someday. Maybe. We'll see. And oh, we're going to learn how to make a small farm afterwards, too. We're going to have some cool new buildings to unfold. Obviously, we got to upgrade our village some more. We didn't finish building that bu building I was talking about today, but we got a lot of good things done. Got some solid food supplies kind of set up. A lot of meat. That's condition is deteriorating, so we probably got to cook up on a fire. Again, we got a few things to take care of. Some manure, some fertilizing, some firming, and all that will come in due time. But with that said, with that done, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, that's going to go ahead and start bringing an end to this episode of Evil Dynasty. Thank you guys a whole ton for watching, and I'll talk to you in the next one. See ya!